what are the key signals that you look for when deciding if the bull market is over? Very good question. Very good question. So how, how do we know when the bull market is over? Well, I mean, honestly, I would say that that's, that's why we have a team of experts around us like Bill. Um, but in general, if you're with us as, as a customer, as a token metrics customer, you'll know, right? Because we're giving you information all the time, right? So because now we're, we're doing a daily newsletter, Monday through Friday, putting out great content, right? So Monday through Friday, uh, we have market updates. So opening of the week and end of the week. Tuesdays, we have code reviews, right? But in, in general, the activity slows down. But the best way to know when it's over is to just watch the charts, but more at a longer time horizon and just kind of talk with smart people and see what they think, right? For me, when do I know when it's over? The market moves, moves in cycles. Uh, let me see if we can find that chart. Yeah, so actually, this is a good one here, right? So basically, smart money comes in, then institutions, then then the general public, and then, boom, right? But in general, um, a good quote I like from one of my favorite investors, Howard Mark, what the wise man does in the beginning, the fool does in the end. And that's basically this chart, right? So you basically have smart money, people who are early, people who are doing their own research, people who are buying when nobody else believes, people who are buying the, the dip, people who buy during a bear market, right? Then you basically have this, this entire process of, of phase. And then eventually you have people who are less sophisticated, who haven't really done the research formal, that formal into it, right? Kind of like, like games, GameStop, right? GameStop, Dogecoin, but same thing with Bitcoin. Bitcoin back in 2017, because uh, I got into Bitcoin at around 850 bucks. It was, it was basically under nine, under 900. Uh, and then it went to 1,000 and then all the way to 19,000, right? And then people who had no business or who, who knew nothing about crypto were trying to buy Bitcoin. So when you see things like that, that's, that's a tip or a sign that, hey, you know what? Maybe take some profits, right? If, if all your friends who never believed in crypto, all of a sudden are trying to buy crypto and are calling you, take some profits, you know, put some cash in the bank, um, even though it's fiat, <laughs> um, buy yourself whatever you're, you're trying to buy, whether it's a home, pay off your debt, just take profits, right? So, because for me, the sign, like looking back at the last bull run, um, I was basically at the barber shop, right? And I overheard the barber and a customer talking about Bitcoin. And I was like, this is pretty funny because I've been told that when you hear things like this, like when you hear the shoe boy giving his talk tips, take profits or cash out, that's the top. And I, and I said, you know what? It's not the top. <laughs> but hey, looking back, that was the top. <laughs> Basically, when, when things that seem weird, right, start happening, take some profits. It might not be the top, but it might be close to the top, or it might just be a good time just to take profits in general, right? So looking at this chart here, I would say, just kind of ask yourself, where are we now? So right now in this market, Bitcoin is almost at 50K. Uh, Ethereum is almost 2,000. Two where are we? I think we've basically been in this phase, right? Institutional investors, and I think now we're getting into media attention with Tesla buying Bitcoin. I don't think we're here yet, right? Because media attention, NFTs, Mark Cuban, uh, Gary V, um, who else? Uh, Chamath, all talking about NFTs, right? So I don't think we're uh, even Logan Paul uh, is working with an NFT project, uh, Bondly Finance. So I think right, right here, we're, we're here. But I don't think we're full on done with this phase because... If we go to, because right, looking at this, if we type in Bitcoin, okay, in the past 12 months, January was the highest. So even now, even with Tesla, I can never mind. I guess Bitcoin did, did go up because of Tesla. Uh, can we go back in time? Yeah, in the past five years, right? So we're not 
here yet. Because December, like honestly, this was the top. <laughs> so if anything, monitor uh, the trends, right? This was basically the top. This would have been a good time to cash out. And right now we're not there yet, right? So as a result of this, I don't think we're done with media attention. I think once we hit the, but actually, maybe, maybe, because looking back, if this is the top, right, on this chart, this is basically here, right? When people get delusional and there's new paradigm, right? And there's greed, right? So I guess in a way, I do see parts of this, especially when it comes to the Polkadot ecosystem, when people are buying projects that have, that are build, building on Polkadot, but are raising funds with an ERC20 token for Ethereum, and the project isn't really functional because Polkadot is not ready yet. That reminds me of the greed back in 2017 with the Ethereum ICO, when projects were just raising funds with, not, with nothing, right? And obviously those projects were the first to, to die, right? So I think Polkadot is a great project, but it's not live yet. So if you're investing in a Polkadot project or IDO, I mean, how are you going to use a token, right? That's kind of my, my perspective, right? So but to me, it's basically a trade, right? And if it's, if it's trade, it's speculation. If, if it's speculation and there's lots of FOMO because people are making money, like 50X or 100Xs, that's basically greed, right? That brings greed. So right now, I would say we're not there yet. I, I would say we're basically somewhere here. But uh, let me know what you guys think uh, down in the comments below.